She said that mom had a brain bleed. And I just remember in that moment, like my heart just like sank. I suddenly started feeling very dizzy and it wouldn't stop no matter what I did. My husband decided he should take me to the emergency room and took me to DMH. He took her to the hospital. I was honestly just expecting her to come home. I was not expecting her to be there. They did a C scan and saw the bleed and then took me from DMH Im immediately to Springfield. Um, I, I knew how serious it could be. You know, anything um, can turn for the better or for the worse. And my husband works in Decatur, um, stayed with me every night at the hospital. And the girls, luckily, I shouldn't say luckily, but the girls were both living at home with us at the time that it happened. <laughs> and that made it possible for them to come see me every day. I think that it just helped me give me moral support and let me know how much they cared. That's what I love most about my family is we're just, we're there for each other. Dr. Day, you come, came out and spoke to everybody, to, spoke to the family. He's a very soft-spoken, quiet doctor who explains things well, and my family was very impressed with him. It is very rewarding, and at the end of the day, it makes getting up in the morning and coming to work worthwhile. He's awesome. He is, I'm so thankful for him. I think my whole family is so thankful for him. He was so calm for us, and he was just kind of like that rock almost that we knew like everything was gonna be okay. No, I just thought so much of him because I feel like he saved her life. But something like this just makes, makes it worthwhile.